No, it really boils down to, I, I'll, I'll never forget that woman's face. It's, she's a stranger, never met her, didn't talk to her, but she had her kid and I had my cousin. And we were the same. Like, it, 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 she, you know, I could have seen like a beetle diving in and we would have been the same, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but we were both in the same, you know, we were both in danger. We were both in the line of fire. We were both doing the same thing. Open that up. Now it's open. My name's Joe Benalis. I've been a member of the Shingi Taiichi Jojo for about 20 years. I've been training longer than that. I started training in martial arts when I was eight years old in Taekwondo. I moved into Budo Taijutsu when I was about 15, 14, 15 years old. Back then it was much different, but uh, stuck with it. So I have well over 30, 40 years almost uh, training experience in this. And I've been teaching for, oh, well over 12 years now. Yeah, you, usually I, I start with their natural ability to, to move in the sense of their own way of moving without providing them with a set of instructions. Do you get like a baseline? I have a baseline sort of, you know, non-combative, non-competitive way of pulling that inner sense of uh, the ability to be safe. And then I move and layer in the different ways to apply Taijutsu while they learn this ability on their, that, and discover this ability on their own. This goes back to the ability for someone to discover rather than to actually be taught. So for me, learning is more about discovering things on your own, feeling those discoveries out rather than be, being given a set of instructions uh, and trying to apply those instructions because it'll take forever for you to memorize those instructions rather than if you pull out from their own experiences, which is people been walking since they could walk, right? And that's how they learn to move. If we just learn to move properly, adding on techniques, the ability to, to uh, counter strike, things of that nature, adding in weapons, now it's become a natural aspect of their movement, which is attainable in a much shorter amount of time than giving a set of instructions and providing them different levels and steps to get to from point A to point B to point C, etc. So I believe that if you can find it within them to teach themselves, eventually that's where you want them to get to. It's, it's amazing because, you know, I, I think about the one time that I didn't use any martial arts at all to, to protect someone from danger. It was a time when I was in Manila and there were a group of us leaving a shopping mall. and. We heard, I heard gunfire. A gunfire has a very distinct sound. And this is what, this is like in the 80s. Right? This was in, I was, I'll, I'll never forget this, I was 13, I was 13 years old. And the police car was chasing, there was a police car chasing a stolen car. And one of the bad guys was hanging outside of the back window, firing at the police car. And the police car, had his partner with an M16 firing at the bad guys. 
and they were directly in, they were, I, we were in the direct line of fire. So I was walking with one of my relatives, my older cousin, and she thought they were fireworks. So I grabbed my cousin, and without thinking, we, I dove into this cement uh, barricade that was holding some foliage. And there were several of these, about 15 to 20 feet apart. And as I was diving in, a mother with her son was doing the exact same thing at the exact same time, and we met eyes. And we followed each other into the, our perspective areas of safety, diving in, and we both looked at each other. And at that moment in time, I knew that we were the same. We were the same. Nothing else mattered. Be safe. Take care of your own. That's what drives me. Now that I have a family, now that they're going to have family soon, and I have parents that need me. That's what drives me. There's a saying, uh, uh, Ban Pen Fugio. 10,000 changes, no surprises. How do you get there? This is how you get there. 10,000 changes, no surprises. Might take you 10,000 training sessions. How long does it take you to get to 10,000 training sessions? So from that perspective, I think, if you can look at not just training, but in life, you can look at it from any which way you want. But if you have the natural ability to adapt, adjust to 10,000 changes naturally, in the purest manner, you should be able to handle all 10,000 of them. And if you can't, just keep trying. Yeah. And you'll never know whether or not you got those 10,000 or not. Yeah. <laughs>